Hi Capricorns, welcome in. So this is going to be your reading for the upcoming week. Capricorn, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter and Sun. Let's see what's coming up for you. Capricorns. A very happy birthday to all of you guys and uh, I hope you're enjoying this new year. Oh wow, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Amazing. Feeling free and independent like a bird. Or coming out of a relationship for some of you. Oh, regretting something from past. For some of you, I'm picking up that you met a, a kind of ending in past. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Five of Cups. Can be with um, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or this can be your energy, emotions all over the place. Something happened, there was a kind of separation I'm picking up or an ending of a situation. Thinking about the spilled cups. So I think that situation is getting over. You're coming out of it with the Knight of Pentacles energy. Free bird, independent, for some of you single, for the rest of you, financially feeling very happy. Right? So Capricorn, what else do we have here? We have the Four of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is here, again. So, can be that, uh, for some of you, this can be new Cancer Pisces Scorpio entering the scenes. For the rest of you, I feel that there's a reconciliation on your mind with somebody, right? You're quiet, very, very quiet, calm energy, Four of Pentacles. I pick up a kind of energy, Capricorns, that... There is a kind of relationship waiting for you. Some Ten of Cups energy, relationship, commitment, a bond. It's waiting for you. And it is emotionally fulfilling. But somewhere in your energies, I see a kind of resistance in the beginning. Not at the end. Towards the end, I see this transformation happening. This reconciliation kind of energy. I think it already happened. Right? Four of Swords. Very quiet not vocal about what you're feeling what about the person you're dealing with we have the four of wands yes nine of cups oh my god they are so happy ten of wands i see that in the recent energy there was coming back together right you were very emotional about something you were quiet overwhelmed but this was a very beautiful reunion kind of situation or i see that this can happen in this upcoming days the person you're dealing with, I think they're also very happy about this reconciliation coming together. I see marriage, love. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. For some of you, I'm picking up that this is causing too much work. It's, you know, some preparation, some celebration. You have to work a lot to maintain this happily ever after kind of energy. I see you putting a lot of effort right now. Something is making you very happy. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and Six of Swords. Okay. Well, you are holding back from something, Capricorn. I see it's your energy. Something is stopping you from getting into something very beautiful. Somewhere at heart, you know that this is emotionally fulfilling situation. But I see that... Back of the mind, something is missing. Four of Pentacles, you don't want to put in 100% into the situation. I see some kind of uh, hidden stuff here. Five of Swords energy. Some kind of self-absorbed energy is there in your surroundings I'm picking up. And you're trying to move on. I pick up a kind of compromise here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. You know this connection is your happily ever after kind of connection but some kind of self-absorbed energy is there i think you are thinking too much four of swords energy you're afraid of something here preventing the three swords entering your heart thinking about the future too much this is your inner inner feelings i'm picking up within you i see some kind of fears associated with this new change coming in your life 
Why is this Four of Swords? The Devil, Eight of Pentacles and Two of Wands. Okay. For some of you, this was an attachment to something else, a toxic attachment. I'm also picking up that you are getting free from this attachment. Four of Swords. For some of you, this can be a kind of energy that you're moving towards a new energy in your life. But you were so obsessed and so attached to the past energy. You were trying to put in so much effort so that it can work out. But it was not working, right? So maybe that's why you were quiet. And now you're making a decision to move on in your life with this happily ever kind of energy, ever after. For some of you, this can be leaving a toxic ex behind and uh, accepting some new fresh proposals, relationship, talking to new people, going out. For some of you, I'm picking up a new relationship is on the horizon, right? So what is this burden? Ten of Wands. Okay, Nine of Wands. Can be an 80s. Leo Sagittarius, you're still thinking about. I see some cords attached, Capricorn. You're still not able to release some cords with somebody of past. What is this Nine of Wands energy? What is this Knight of Wands energy? Hmm. Two of Wands, Two of Cups and Seven of Wands. Okay. What are you fighting for? When there's so much love in this situation, what are you fighting for? What are you resisting here? Why? I definitely see that you are trying to defend true love. True love here. But then what are you fighting? Okay, six of wands. You're blocking something and walking out. Some things have to be released. And uh, I see a kind of struggle here on your mind. You're trying to fight something. What is this four of pentacles? What are you resisting here? We have the Queen of Swords, the Five of Wands and the Ten of Swords is here. Yes, something has to end. I see a lot of conflict surrounding this connection, Capricorn. Now, for some of you, this can be the past person causing all the conflict, can be a mother figure, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this person is very angry and they're causing a lot of conflict here. A lot of conflict I'm picking up. And uh, you are not willing to confront this conflict. I see a kind of energy where you just want your personal space to stay protected and just walk out of that situation which is causing too much conflict. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. And you're trying to move out of this conflict. I think all this conflict is coming from this toxic energy in your surroundings. What is this Five of Swords energy? Why is there so much manipulation in mind games? Knight of Pentacles, okay, Queen of Pentacles, and the Lovers. So you have a choice. For some of you, I'm picking up that you have to decide between two people. It can be an earth sign and a water sign. You want to stay with the water sign. For some of you, this can be a happily ever after kind of situation with this person. But a new proposal is coming in towards you. And this is coming from an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And this can be a very strong divine connection in... Uh, in your surroundings and picking up now uh, you might feel defeated you might feel cheated for a while because one connection is very deep i'm picking up and someone is fighting for the other connection my god let me have the six of swords energy where are you heading definitely this is winding up definitely this is winding up i see some kind of money situation involved in the love matter for some of you this can be a greedy person Involved in the picture. I see someone is asking for money. What is this uh, Six of Swords? Where are you heading here? The Magician, the Page of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Okay, Eight of Cups. You're walking away from some situation. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Definitely some money situation is involved here. Capricorn. Magician, Page of Wands and the Eight of Wands. It has to be communicated. Let me clarify this. Eight of Wands. What is this conversation about? You know what, Capricorns? I see that you're coming to a point at the end where you want to move towards the karma water. You want to end the conflict. Because something is happening in your life which is very big. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, Nine of Cups. It's a very big positive situation. Can be a marriage. Can be you're getting married to somebody or you're about to get into a relationship. For some of you, a very beautiful person is coming into your life or the person is already there. And you want to defend it. And defending that, you have to fight something. See how you're protecting your love here. 
you are trying to fight somebody's fake ego or uh, high demands for some of you i pick up that uh, a family member or somebody a third person is demanding too much they are very egoistic they're demanding for money they're looking for more uh, financial thing here i pick up bribing i pick up uh, dowry for some of you if this is a situation let me know in the comment section what's going on but you are coming out to be as the magician right you're fighting all this stuff and you're manifesting positive changes in your life i see that you're turning page of wands so you will communicate you will express your side and i see you fighting the odds here to defend this relationship beautiful we have the lady so some lady and the writer definitely it's about love definitely if you are a lady watching this reading i think your person is going to be coming in very strongly and they're going to fight this opposite situation this opposing force i'm picking up what is this conversation about what is this conversation about lock it key oh my god and the letter amazing again conversation we have the fox here so someone is definitely going to uh manipulate the situation five of swords with the fox somebody in the picture is highly manipulative and they are looking for something more something extra but for you the situation is so beautiful that you want to protect it right you might have to walk away from something in order to protect this connection relationship the beautiful relationship you have in your life we have the locket key and the letter hmm can be a manipulative lady in your surroundings i'm picking up a uh, capricorn but this relationship is meant to stay we have the locket and the ten of cups this relationship is meant to stay and you're going to find the key to all your problems very soon i see the solution coming in i also pick up that you might very soon get some argument or get some information some logic in your mind which is going to help you sail through the situation you are going to be the mag magician so you will be playing a big role in the situation and you will be bringing everything to calmer waters because you want this relationship to stay we have the letter here beautiful energy okay we have a lot of cards we have star seed what lights you up oh we have a lot of cards we also have dance with the light do something to change your energy so whatever this toxic devil energy is you have to put in something in order to uh, release this toxicity in your surroundings we also have akasha your guidance is divinely guided amazing energy here capricorn i see a very beautiful relationship is on the horizon for some of you i'm actually picking up that you're not going to stay single for long right but what you have to be careful about is the toxic energy in your surroundings someone is highly manipulative and they're trying to gain something out of your connection and i think this person is so selfish that they might not even consider that your connection means a lot to you right so you have to be very protective about it otherwise there's deep love in the situation i see that you have to fight for this love and you're doing it with the magician energy and communication is going to play a very important role i'm picking up you divinely guide it right right we also have birthing a new age birthing new creations dreaming a new world into being so my god energies are superb your personal energies magician you are going to manifest some very beautiful thing in your life very soon only you have to be careful is somebody who is very aggressive and selfish and might be trying to gain something out of or to take advantage out of your personal relationship or the situation so you have to be careful about that person other than that a very beautiful relationship is on the horizon this is your reading thank you so much for watching bye bye